The Blue Jays are back in Toronto, and this weekend they're celebrating a moment that changed baseball across the country and made a little bit of history. The Blue Jays celebrating 30 years this year since they won their first World Series title. Hunts, Kimball on it, throws to first. For the first time in history, the World Championship banner will fly north of the border. 92 was just one of those things where you sit there and you looked at it and you go, God, we actually did it. It's a moment in time that most Canadians who were old enough remember where they were on that beautiful night in 1992 when the Jays won their first World Series title in Atlanta. When Otis Nixon tried to lay down that bunt to get on base to, I guess, try to keep their offense going, when Mike Timlin flipped the ball over to Joe at first base and Joe jumped up in the air, I think everybody in Canada had that collective jump and it was like, you know, we did it. Dwayne Ward won back-to-back -back World Series titles with the Jays in 92 and 93 and will be among over a dozen players from the 92 roster who will be in Toronto at the game on Saturday to celebrate the three-decade-long anniversary. The whole season just seemed to be very magical. I can go back to, you know, great plays that guys did or, you know, great pitching performances that our, our starters did or, you know, how well our bullpen pitched, and, you know, but I think all in all, it was just the, the way the team just performed over a 162 game schedule and then go into postseason and then obviously went in a World Series. I mean, it was just a magical year. So when we look back at 1992, did you keep or do you have any memorabilia from that time? Oh gosh, yes. I got my uniforms. I got my glove. I got, oh yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a, kind of like a little pack rat anyway about, you know, just, you know, baseball history and stuff like that, you know, and, you know, sign baseballs from teammates and from other guys and stuff. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's something, you, you know, you, you're never going to forget, you know, you can't go back and relive it, but you can always remember it. And that's something that, you know, I look back on it and it's, you know, it's just nothing but fond memories and, and having the opportunity to actually play with some great ball players. Well, Dwayne and Joe Carter will be on the field this weekend reminiscing about that magical time. Roberto Alomar will not be a part of the celebration. Alomar has been banned by Major League Baseball after allegations of sexual misconduct. Now for the lucky fans that are coming here this weekend, first of all, the game is sold out, so there's no tickets left. You can watch it on Sportsnet, but for the first 15,000 fans who will enter the ballpark tomorrow, they will get these sweet retro bomber jackets. Does look like I need to work on my muscles though to fit it. Pretty cool.